guys, so as you can see, we are in the fabulous New York City. And today, today's video, we're gonna be testing night mode on the Mavic 3 Cine. Doesn't matter which Mavic 3 you have, they all now have night mode. It was an update that was acquired to the previous Mavic 3s. But when the Mavic 3 Classic came out, that's when night mode was introduced, as well as cruise control. The purpose of today's video is we, I wanna test the night mode, the new night mode enhancement on the Mavic 3. And I'm gonna show you three different types of footages. First, I'm gonna show you night mode. I really wanna see what, what that is all about. As you know, the Mavic 3 is processing some noise reduction within the drone itself. Next, I am going to fly the drone in, in automatic, normal picture profile, so no night mode. And then third, I'm gonna take that same normal mode and I'm gonna process my own version of noise reduction through Neat Video, which is a plugin that I leverage on Premiere Pro. And then at the end, I wanna come back and really discuss what you think is best. So let me go ahead and take this drone up and I'll come back from so, with some initial impressions. And then after I sit down on the computer and do my tweaking and editing, I'll give you my final conclusion. So let's take the drone up and I'll return in a second. Hey, this is Eddie from the future here. So um, just finished reviewing and editing some of this footage. As you saw here, night mode versus just a normal color profile on the Mavic 3. It is absolutely insane the advantage that night mode has. I mean, immediately when I was reviewing this footage here on my computer, immediately going from a regular picture profile, and by the way, I was in auto, so I'm sure the ISO was cranked way up high. Um, and then just toggling over to night mode, 
it instantly, I mean instantly clears up the video on, on this Mavic 3. It is just absolutely incredible. Now, the other test, which I'm about to show you now, the other uh, footage I'm, I'm gonna show you is, can we shoot, or what's better per se, um, can we shoot in a normal picture profile? I'm going to let the camera sit on auto again with auto ISO, but can we yield better results by applying some noise reduction in post? And in this case, I'm gonna be leveraging Neat Video, which is a plugin that at this point in time costs about $129 one-time fee. Um, that is the plugin that I'm gonna to use to reduce some of this noise. And again, we wanna figure out you know, is the, you, the, will you yield better results by using noise reduction in your post-processing um, workflow versus leveraging night mode on the Mavic 3? So let's find out. So I just finished flying three batteries with the Mavic 3 and I haven't seen the footage on my computer yet, but let me just give you my first initial impression. First, in night mode, it looks absolutely stunning. It looks beautiful. It is so clear. When you switch from auto, from the regular camera to night mode, you see a heck of a difference. On auto, by the way, all my settings today were on auto, so I'm not shooting manual, just to be fair. But when I'm on the regular camera without the noise reduction, without night mode, you see all the grain, all this noise. And that's understandable because the drone is probably at an ISO of 6,500, right? Somewhere up there. I'm almost positive. But again, I'm in auto, so I'm not sure what ISO it's, it's in. When I switch to night mode, however, that noise automatically disappears. It is crystal clear. It is so clean. Now, that being said, I noticed a huge difference right away with my remote uh, on the video that I'm watching through the RC. I think there's a sacrifice in clarity. I think there's a sacrifice in clarity. Because the drone is processing noise reduction within the drone itself, it's actually hindering the sharpness of the video. But I think you have to, that's a choice you have to make because if we switch to auto and I'll demonstrate here what auto looks like, you can see that there's tons of noise. So what do you prefer? 
having somewhat sharper images with all the grain? Or do you want to have maybe a softer image, right? But with no grain. Now, the next thing, the next thing to consider is that your Mavic 3 will shoot in 5K30, right? When you're in night mode, you only have one option, and that is 4K30. So that's also something to consider if you absolutely need 5K or if you absolutely need more um, different frame rates besides 30 frames per second. You won't be able to do it. Night mode strictly locks you at 4K30. So now that we finished here and we have these trains roaring through, these trains are never ending here in Manhattan. But the good thing is that if you're sitting at the platform waiting for the train, they never come. But now that I'm filming, they're actually passing every single minute. Uh, but let me get off this rant. Now that we finished here, let's go back to my computer and I'll give you my final conclusion. Again, gonna give you three types of footages, right? Night mode, regular mode, and then a regular mode with noise reduction through neat video. And I'll let you know which one I like out of all three. Fair? I'll see you in a bit. All right, so you just heard me speak about um, my initial thoughts he there at the park while I was at the field. And you also just finished seeing what neat video, the power of neat video, I should say, um, uh, had over this footage here, again, using a normal picture profile and leaving everything on auto, the shutter, the white balance, the ISO, everything was on auto. And to me, while reviewing this footage here on my desk, neat video actually looks 10 times sharper um, than what noise reduction is doing within night mode on the Mavic 3. So in, in the uh, my post-processing, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. I did not tweak any settings. I didn't change any of the uh, saturation, any of the highlights, exposure. I certainly did not play with any of the sliders as well. So nothing is enhanced by me. This is all footage straight out of the drone. And in my honest opinion, I think I was right with my first initial impressions at the field. I think that night mode, although it is very capable um, and, and very usable in a sense, um, it's, it's great, it's good, but you, however, you can yield some incredible results by taking that, you know, shooting in a normal color profile and then taking your footage and applying some uh, post um, noise reduction within post, I should say. So applying noise reduction within post, within your editor of choice, and of course, any plugins that you may have to get. In this case, I was leveraging Neat Video, which at the time of this video is costing around $130 one-time fee to own that plugin, but it is an incredible plugin. Now, I thought about one more thing, and that is we were in the um, end of the day here where we were shooting, not much details in the sky, um, not during sunset, not during twilight. I thought about let's take this test to the next level and let's showcase what uh, night mode can do in sunset hour, right? Twilight hour. And then let's also compare just normal, uh, you know, picture profile as well there. And, and we will actually manipulate the settings in the camera and not leave it in auto. Um, and let's do that comparison as well, just to keep it fair and look at both, um, you know, scenarios that you can possibly use night mode. So let's get right to that. So I know in the video I said that we were gonna get back to my desk and review the footage. Well, let me give you an update. I did review the footage and uh, I'm gonna show you, or I have already probably shown you, but number one is that um, I felt like the night mode 
was very muddy like you can definitely see that the drone is over processing um, and uh, adding a lot of smoothing and noise reduction um, it looks great it looks great but you don't have all those details now on the flip side the normal footage when I was reviewing it on my computer last night the normal footage on on auto looks absolutely horrendous there's so much noise it's unusable I'm sure because I had it on auto because I want to be very fair I'm sure that the ISO was probably cranked in fact if Premiere Pro tells me at what level the ISO was set I'm gonna add it right here but I know the ISO had to be cranked up way up high um, in that in that footage so you know I think it's unbearable now neat video did it help I don't know you know I'll probably add that my conclusions on neat video noise reduction towards the end of this video because I didn't get a chance to process it last night but but I don't want to make this video too long however I decided this today's Thanksgiving I decided to come to far Rockaway Rockaway Beach um, and come back with the Mavic because I want to try now like during sunset like twilight hour so like once the sunset actually you know kind of hits the horizon I want to take the drone up there and I want to fly it I want to see um, two different things so we're gonna try night mode um, as the Sun is setting right and we're also we're also going to uh, do the um, regular camera right so without night mode but the difference here is that I am going to adjust my camera settings myself so I'm not going to leave it in auto uh, I'm gonna leave it on auto for night mode I'm gonna leave it on auto for night mode but when I, when I take off night mode, the footage you're seeing, it's me dialing in my settings. So I'm gonna shoot at, at 60 frames per second. So my shutter's gonna be one over 30. My aperture, I'm gonna keep it at 2.8. I might need to adjust because of the light. And then my ISO, the highest, the highest I'm gonna hit is maybe like 3200 ISO. And then I'll show you that video raw the way it is and then i also will apply some neat video and let's compare again the three different types night mode um manual settings and then manual settings with noise reduction This is the official ending to the ending of this video because we're gonna get back to the desk now and really review all these different types of footages. As you can see, it's um, we've approached sunset, so the sun has kind of set. Um, it's by the horizon now. I did use night mode. 
night mode during I, I've seen tons of video on YouTube where people are using night mode while um, the sun is, is setting but do you really need night mode during during that time anyway I did include it here today I also flew um, with regular settings so regular camera without night mode so we'll give it a try also something I learned about night mode today is that if you're in night mode you your your sensors turn off all your sensors top down sideways they're all off so that's some, something to consider when you are in night mode and it's obvious right at night you your sensors really don't work anyway but in today's case when the sun was setting you, there was tons of light um but it it just turns it off by default but let's get back to the desk and let's uh close out this video okay so there you have it that was the final um test that i wanted to do that was shot during sunset on thanksgiving day at rockaway beach and um, I think that we have a fair comparison of, you know, pitch darkness and then during sunset twilight hours. Now, um, would I leverage night mode during sunset? Honestly, I don't think so. I think you still yield better results with a normal picture profile. And again, this goes, in my opinion, for both complete darkness at night and during sunset. Um, I think you still yield um, better results because you're getting sharper images. I think night mode, although it's doing a fantastic job, it is applying too much of a noise reduction. It is applying a lot of smoothing to the footage. So you're not getting most of that clarity or sharpness that you would. Now, of course, if you're going to crank up the ISO, night mode is going to look better. But if you have the opportunity to reduce some of that noise in post-processing with a noise reduction plugin, I highly suggest that you take that route instead. Um, but if you're going to be, you know, flying your Mavic 3 and you are during sunset or night nighttime and you just want to capture some quick footage to immediately share on social media, whether that's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or just a YouTube short, then absolutely, by all means, use night mode because it's going to save you a lot of time on, on going into the computer, you know, going into your editing program and, and reducing and tweaking some of that noise that you're going to obviously have in your Mavic 3 at night. So I think, um, I, you know, this video was extremely long. I, if you made it this far, please comment down below because I do want to thank you so much for making it to the final portion of this video um, this was a, a test that i really wanted to do ever since i found out that night mode was added to all of the mavic 3s whether that's the mavic 3 cine the mavic 3 or the mavic 3 classic i'm happy that dji did expand that to all of them um, i think it also would be great to be added to the mini 3 pro but maybe that's just too much processing power for that little drone but um, it is a really nice and convenient feature to have in your drone. And it's just amazing how DJI and, um, you know, the technology that we have in place today just keeps pushing forward via firmware update. So let me know what questions or comments you have down below. Again, if you made it to this point of the video, just drop a comment and say I made it. I just really want to thank you for watching. I think 25 minutes of me blabbing on about the Mavic 3 Cine um, and, and specifically Mavic 3 at night is what I should say. But um, I do appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this video and uh, let's continue on flying and continue testing. Until next time, peace. What's up? What's up, KC? Nice, Dad. Oh, cut the bullshit. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> this gentleman right here has also recently made a purchase. He bought the Beta drone, the Mavic 3. Oh, cut the bullshit. Um, if you don't follow Invisible Storms on YouTube, please go ahead and do so. I expect tons of high prolapses from this drone. And uh, this man worked the Mavic 2 Pro extremely well. So I can only imagine what he's going to do with the uh, Mavic 3. Mavic 3 Beta. I learn from the best. <laughs> yes, I let you co -star. I gotta do it, I'm do it. Absolutely no man, woman, or child should ever let their drone land on the ground. It's, it's, should never do that, man. Should never do that. <laughs> Yo, 
So in your video, you said the drone goes up, right? You got your senses. Are you in sports mode? Are you in sports mode? Absolutely. That's why. There's no other way to, to catch a drone. It's, it's so simple, man. So simple. A baby can do this. A child can do this, man. <laughs> All right, so this is this is ending bloopers. That's Invisible Storm showing me how to catch a drone by the ass. By the ass.